Hey YouTube, Mike GPO here. Uh, welcome to uh, Friendly and Cold and Sunny Manitoba on this fine day. You can see everybody's fur furnace is working and uh, it's a little cool, but uh, like I said, welcome to Sunny Manitoba. Welcome to Mike GPO's channel. Come on in, take a look around, watch a video or two. Um, subscribe like and please do leave a comment um i got pretty thick skin so have at it welcome to sunny manitoba Mike gpo back again um this is part one of part four of the british are coming and uh, i'm just gonna jump right in this entire set that you're part of what you're looking at is a king king edward the seventh and i'm gonna this one being in the middle we're going to uh, flip this over just so you can have a look at him. He was, of course, a bald-headed fella, and he had, uh, like the rest of his family, the, the beard, and he was sporting a pretty good stash on his own. But anyway, crown, half crown, florin, or two shillings. And this, this coin is one of my favorites just for the fact that it has a, a different version of Britannia on it. She's standing up, she's holding her shield. And uh, it's a really nice coin. I really like this one. But moving along, and also the crown has edge lettering on it, but it's it's really so worn that uh, that uh, I can't read it. So I'm going to put in the description. I'm going to put what it says around the crown. So be sure to read the description. Moving along, like I said, that was the uh, crown, half crown, and the florin are two shillings. Moving down here, we have the English shilling with the lion on it. They didn't make a Scottish shilling way back then. Uh, the sixpence and the little tiny 3D, which is, I don't know, give or take about size of a fingernail of a normal size hand. And uh, the 3D, they call it, the D is derived from the Roman coin, the denarius. And, of course, everybody knows the Romans were in Britain way back when Christ was a cowboy. Oh, there you go. See my flashy pants again. Okay, what you're looking at here is a penny, a half penny, and a farthing, all with uh, Britannia on them. And I noticed that on this half penny, it's the same as the George V penny, that when they punched it, I guess because these guys had big heads or something, his head, you can see there's the outline of his head on the half penny also. Anyway, that was part one of part four. The British are coming. Thank you for your patience hey, and your time. Mike GPO back here for part two of part four of The British Are Coming. And uh, what you see before you is a set of Queen Victoria. And uh, they call these the veiled head or widow head i think i be, i believe anyway but they're uh, they're still uh, really nice coins and this one's got some edge lettering on it too and i will uh, like the previous one i will leave a uh, what it says I'll, I'll put that in the description so i'm not trying to stumble through because it's it's too worn for me to read anyway like before we have uh, the crown with uh, saint george killing the dragon here we have the half crown with the four shields of uh, the British on there. The, we've got uh, Scotland with a lion, Ireland with a harp, and of course two shields for Britain. And uh, we got another, this is the, uh, the florin with the uh, English shield, a Scottish shield, and an Irish shield on it. I guess they like them like that, and that's what it is. Over here, sorry, can't point at it and not show you. Here we have the shilling, the sixpence, and the three D or the three pence. Moving right along on this one, I'm on a roll. I don't want to quit. Uh, we have the the penny, the half penny, and the farthing. And this set is all Queen Victoria, their uh, the veil head or widow head as they call them. It's uh. She was fairly prolific in her coins, but uh, she reigned for quite a long time too, so I guess they had to change it up for her. Anyway, that was part two of hey folks, part this four. is just a little addendum to that uh, video you just watched. This is a shilling. I noticed in the video that there was a big glare on it and you couldn't see squat on it. So this is the Victoria Widowhead. 
and this this is the shilling. It, this one's in uh, not bad condition. I gotta learn. You gotta rotate them like that. But anyway, there's the shilling that because there was a real bad glare on it. I don't know if I can bring it up any closer with getting out. That's it. That's as good as she gets. But anyway, that's a shilling from Queen Victoria, her widow head series. Uh, I just thought I'd throw that in there so you could see the coin a little bit better. Thank you.